Okay, YouTube. I've always wondered what's actually inside an 18650. Like, I've seen animations and stuff. But I want to know what's in one for real, so. Got a dead one here that's got. 10 millivolts in it. Which is absolutely toast. It's a uh, LG D BHE 21865. No zero on the end of it because the serial number continues that way. The rest of those numbers mean nothing to me. Uh, stick a couple of tube cutters in here. See if it will show me what's inside. See that? It's actually far out. Okay, that one's in the ice too. There you go, there's a lesson. Even a supposedly dead A in 650 will go pop. You'll probably see my other video first of me uh, opening up this cell and uh, preventing this cell from thermally running away before I tried to open it and then it thermally ran away more. A thermal runaway is when something is having a chemical reaction that you can't control or stop easily that could be very detrimental to you or whatever's thermally running away. In the case of an 18650, a thermal runaway will mean that the canister they're in, because they're in a nice sealed steel tube essentially, with a folded up end, all pressed together with your uh, lithium substance inside, all wrapped up in rolls like that. Hope that shows up nicely for you. But if that starts to run away, you've got big issues because it's getting hotter than it can, uh, hotter than it can or should get as a sealed container. And what happened with this one was I started cutting it with tube cutters after measuring it with dead voltage, nothing. 10 millivolts. Um, even short circuited it off camera. Nothing happening now. See, multi is still sitting there. Tube cutters there. I didn't get all the way cut through this and that piece, the top cap and surrounding metal, blew off and hit the wall. Yep, it went pop like a firecracker. You'll see it in the other video. And then this proceeded to basable and fizz and carry on continuously for the last half an hour. To the point where I filled this with ice and set them in it. This whole scenario started when I was soldering this one and some of the solder went down between the two contacts and that started to thermally run away. Got that hot, it actually burnt my finger. All the insulation, the plastic's all gooey and fucked up from it. So I decided to start cutting it. Well, as I started cutting it, it started getting hot again. So uh, we'll leave that for another day after it's been frozen. I might even uh, freeze it itself in the freezer. And after I freeze it, I'll uh, cut it open then. But, um,. Basically, I didn't want to use that in my pack anymore. It's not a 30Q, it's a 26C. It's not the best of the best, but it's uh, still a good sell, unfortunately. But it can stay in there until it uh, works out what it's done wrong. I then tried to cut the other end off this to get the uh, cell apart. 
but yeah, just, uh, I mutilated the cell a bit with the side cutters because it was starting to bubble and fizz and I wanted to get the get it electrically disconnected. You get a pretty good view on this end, what happens inside a cell. Yeah, there's copper and lithium. See? Nice, bright, shiny copper. It's reasonably thick, actually. Cool if there was a safe way to uh, get that out of all these cells, but I don't believe there is. Because there's a couple hundred of them there that are shagged that could, uh, could be stripped for copper recovery. That's a, that's a cool piece. I got a good bit out. There you go. That's what's inside them. That and black sheets of uh, lithium. The black stuff's the lithium. On a, uh, on like a papery sheet. Anyway. Ice water. <clears throat> will stop a thermal runaway. This one was getting cut. I, I didn't even feel it get hot. It just went bang, blew the top off. It hardly got warm at all before it did. So... Lesson for everyone, if it starts thermally run away, get it in some ice water. Luckily I've got a fridge that punches out a bucket full of that in like 10 seconds. And uh, yeah, protect yourself basically. Just be wary of the uh, chemical power that's still alive inside a dead cell. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions or Want to know more? Let me know. Catch you next time.